these shades are currently excluded from my smart thing system the um, inclusion and exclusion process is uh, very simple it's uh, quite easy but you will need a paper clip to actually do the process so the first step is to uh, put the shade into what's known as a pairing mode and the way you do that is you press and hold this button here until it starts flashing green then flashes amber and the shade will tug once the shade does that you go into your uh, smart things device and you go into your add a new device screen and once the smart things hub is in uh, inclusion mode you go back to the shade and you press and hold this until it flashes green and you let go the shade will uh, tug a bit again and a dimmer switch will show in your device and you simply configure the dimmer switch so now if I go into my dimmer switch as you can see there and I put it at 61% you can see that the shade is opening and when I lower it the shade is uh, lowering now the problem with this is that when you connect this the remote will stop working since the remote also runs um, on Z-Wave so you need to add the remote as a secondary controller to the shade so to make the remote work first we need to add it to the same network as the smart things hub to do that you go into your uh, smart things app uh, go to add a new thing and put your hub into inclusion mode once that is done you take the remote uh, you take a paper clip put it in the back hold i mean hole and press and hold it until the light starts flashing at this point it'll pair with the smart things hub and a device called a ZW remote will appear. You just simply configure it and that process is done. However, pressing the remote will still not make the shade respond. There's one final step involved. The final step is basically um, telling the shade that this remote will be a secondary controller for it and the way you do that is um, you take the remote you take your paper clip put it into the hole and just give it a quick tap and the light will start flashing when it does that press and hold the button on the shade until the green light starts flashing again the shade will go up and down a tiny bit and at this point when you press the remote, the shade will start responding and, and at the same time, when you use the SmartThings app, the shade will also respond. Usually when you use the remote, the app will also show an update of the shade's position. So for example, I'm opening the shade all the way up using the remote. And once the shade goes all the way up, it, the SmartThings app should update to show 99%, like so. If you have any further questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, there will be another video going up showing the exclusion process. Uh, once again, the exclusion process is also very simple.